All right. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's where my lumber mill goes, right there. Oh, nice work. That was two days of digging, more or less. Yeah, that's about perfect. I think I'll put little concrete circles, kind of like, uh, you know, railway ties under these. First, I'll get the lumber mill up here, though, so I make sure I get them you know, positioned just right. All right, I guess I better go make some wheels. That's the canoe that I made years ago. I put an outrigger on it and uh, my friend there put a four horsepower motor on it. And that thing will go like 10 to 15 miles on a gallon of gas, which is pretty good in a, in a boat. <sighs> okay, wheels, right, on the bottom of this thing. Oh, it's gonna be so nice to get that out of here and get some of the stuff put away. All right. There's my first wheel blank. And you know what? I'm feeling very like, oh, kinda. I think I need to go jump in the ocean. I'm still, I'm just soaked in sweat from all that digging. Yeah, I need to go jump in the ocean, have a shower, and then start with these wheels fresh. Oh, good idea. All right, I'm gonna jump. I think that's about exactly what I'm going for. Oh, right. I still have to fit the bearings in here. Let's get that out of the way. My screws seem to be holding pretty well. They leave enough space. Nope. I have to trim those screws a bit so I don't... Uh, I guess I could lathe the metal a little. Uh, I'd rather not though. I'll get a Dremel to take off the edges of those screws. You know what? I was going to make all four of these and then put these in. But I think I'll get one wheel totally finished first. And then I'll mass produce the other three. So I just need to make some holes in here for that bearing to fit there and one to fit there. And I need to write down on my little list of stuff to get from town next time I go, spray oil. Cause I like to keep this stuff, you know, lightly coated with oil so it doesn't get rust. All right, I'm not gonna do any specific measurements. I'm just gonna get it close and then check against the bearing. Too 
Okay, that is right there. Yeah, that is really snug. I just did it a little bit deep, just in case I screwed it up, but that looks dead on. So now I just need to carve it in deeper. And I might need to carve it a tiny bit wider, but I'd rather start with a little bit too tight. Oh, I just got that in. I don't think I can get it out. It's a pretty snug fit. All right, I think that's it. Flip it over and do the other side. Okay, I got both sides done. I did pull the bearing out of there and just put a groove in there so that the middle piece here won't touch. Oh, nice fit. Oh, beauty. Oh, nice job, Jamie. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh my gosh. This is a good job. All right, got them both in there. And if I can do that good job on all four of them, ooh, that's gonna be nice. So nice. It is kind of annoying that I have to trim off the edges of these screws, but whatever. Just use my Dremel to trim that. I have to put screws through because this is two separate pieces. I think I'm going to use this size pipe. Mm, yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Like even if it moves off a little bit, it'll still have pressure to push it back before it gets to the point of no return. Yeah, that, oh, I like those. So nice. Whoo, hole saw. Okay, hole saw. <laughs> this is not the, not my favorite thing to do, but whatever. Just need to make six more of these. Yeah, that's where those guys came out of. And this is a piece of, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's some really durable plastic. Uh, one of you guys sent this to me. So whoever sent that to me, thank you so much. I sent it a few years ago. And I've only, so far I'd only used this little corner for something. But man, it is really useful for these. So thank you to whoever sent this to me. I don't want to waste any material. It's also nice when this cuts at right at the edge because then all the bits, they have somewhere to go. Just shoot out the side. Don't want it to heat up too much. A little water here. Usually when I do this, I drill most of the way through on one side and then drill from the other side so that the piece is easier to get out. But I decided to just try this and see how hard it is. If I can get the piece out, it's nicer to drill it all from one side because then you get a smoother thing. Which isn't massively important, I guess, because I'm going to lathe it anyway. However, it is easier to get it centered on the lathe. Pretty smooth circle cut around. All right, this isn't too bad. <sighs> I just snapped the drill bit off the middle of my hole saw thingy here, you know, it's this. And, uh, oh, totally stupid. I mean, I have a replacement. I think that'll fit. Yeah. But, uh, oh, just. Just pay attention better, Jamie. Don't. I very rarely do do that. But uh, yeah, I just need to make sure I'm paying attention good. 
All right. Don't break another one for another 10 years and I'll be, I'll be satisfied. All right, Jamie, pay attention, good control, slow and steady. You know, I'm gonna turn you off for this. You know what? Check this out. What a gorgeous day out there. Good stuff. You know, while I'm mentioning that someone sent me this sheet of plastic, I should also say someone sent me this drill and this battery. And, uh, oh yeah, these, uh, these bearings I'm using for these wheels, those were on my Amazon wish list. Someone sent me those. You know, there's a lot of stuff around here, tools and useful things that you guys have sent me. And I just want to say I really appreciate it. You know, your efforts have not gone unnoticed. You know, I don't make a ton of money on the videos, but you guys take care of me. So, thanks. All right, I'm going to shut up before I get all super cheese. And this is the sixth one of these. Great. This time I took my screws to the grinder and just smoothed them out so I won't have to cut the edges off later. And I want to get these in real fast so they melt their way in there. From there, I should be able to lathe it into one of those. Okay, right there, I was just getting one side smoothed out so that I can switch my jaws here and have them clamp on the outside and have a good grip. Plus, I have to get the screw out of the middle to do the hole here anyway. All right, I'll get the other two of these to this point. Oh, come on. That's about right. Close enough. All right, now to cut the groove in there. Luckily, this thing has this part which slides that way and it was a good enough angle. That's what I used to, to cut this. close. I think that's good enough. Yeah, that's good. All right, next one. Oh, those are so nice. All right, all within reasonable tolerances. I just need to mount my bearings in there. Oh, those are beautiful. Oh, I'm going to clean up that mess later. <laughs> 